First Corinthians, the 15th chapter, the 20th verse. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruit of them that sleep. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all died, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. <coughs> but every man in his own order, Christ the first fruit, after what they had of Christ and his coming, then cometh the end when he shall deliver up the kingdom of God, even the Father, when he shall put down all rule and all authority and, all, and power. He must rinse until he has put all enemies on his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. For he has put all things on his feet. But when he said all things are put under him, it, it is expected that he is accepted which did put all things under him. And when all things shall be subdued under him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things huh, under him, that God may be all in all. Amen? Amen. Uh, 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 uh. I, 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 I thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. I, 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 I give God. Uh, this, this, this is resurrection. It's Sunday. Amen. Uh -huh. this, this is the revival Sunday. Amen. Yeah. This, this is reviving from the dead. Amen. This, this is resuming. This is bringing back uh, with what lives. Hello, somebody. Back alive. Amen. Mm -hmm. Huh? This, 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 this is, this, 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 hello somebody, he said, if, if, if through one man all died, hello somebody, amen, and death is in through one man, hello somebody, huh? then in and through one man, huh, is life in and in, hello somebody, amen, and that life is in Christ Jesus, amen. I, 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 I thank the Lord, amen. I, I heard somebody say, you must be born again. In other words, you must be resurrected. Hello, somebody. In, in other words, you, you got resurrected if you can fall. If you got the same mind that you had when you first come to God. Hello, somebody. There ain't nothing about you changed. Hello, somebody. And if ain't nothing about you changed, then you're not resurrected. Hello, somebody. And you're not resurrected because you fail to believe. The Bible says, say ye not, who shall descend, uh, that is to break up Christ, nor, uh, 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 what, what you say, see it to break down Christ, or descend to break up Christ. Hello, somebody, amen? But the word is not thee. <coughs> what you say? Even in your mouth, amen? I uh, see you. You have the ability. You you've been given the privilege. The Bible said the word it, it, is not you. You can confess the Lord. Hello, somebody. You you can confess the Lordship of Jesus. You can you can hello somebody. You can terminate the relationship that you had so long with them. Hello, somebody. You you can you can you can hello somebody. Huh? You can you can God has, has provided an avenue for you to come up out of that relationship that you in. You, you can devote that devil, hello somebody. You, you can devote that devil through death, hello somebody. And you can, that devil is dead and he got you, hello somebody. He got you living a life of death. Hello somebody, amen. And, 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 and dead people can't do nothing. And, I, and you can't do nothing without crying. Hello somebody, dead folk can't do nothing. Dead folk can't get nowhere. Dead folk can't get on their feet. Uh, Therefore, okay, can't move. Hello, somebody. Because they did. Hello, somebody. Uh, and, 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 and see, Jesus was crucified in a place called Gabbatha, which is, it, 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 uh, means a place.
face of his father. And, 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 and in other words, it's in your mind. Hello, somebody, your mind is dead in the eyesight of God. Amen. And all your thoughts are evil. Hello, somebody. Uh -huh. But you got to be born again. Hello, somebody. You see, no matter what said, how it said, you see it in a negative way. Hello, somebody. The only dead folks see things in a negative way. Hello, somebody. Uh -huh. Praise be God, because no matter what God, if he ain't got nothing but the dust of the earth, he sees what he can do with that dust. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. And then pray God, when you born again, no matter what the enemy do, you see the good God is meant for us. Hello, somebody. You, you see why God allowed it to happen, or why God is allowed it to happen. You see that the thoughts of God come to you in peace and not evil. Hello, somebody. Amen. See, the devil, if you got a mind, your mind dead, then you think dead, then you think negative. Hello, somebody, huh? And, and there ain't no positive thoughts coming out your mind. You know somebody, you look at you, 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 when, when you, when you thought, when you think negative, when you dead, you hang around dead folks. That's why dead folks don't want to hear the Lord. That's why dead folks have problems hearing the word of God. That's why dead folks get offended in hearing the word of God. The word of God, God gives the only one and the only thing that can give an increase in anybody that's not negative. We'll hear the word of God because the power of God, it doesn't make a difference whether it's oak or it be, whether you like it or don't, it is what raises you from the dead. What you said? Hello, somebody, huh? I, I see that you will that you will receive unexpected ears. Hello, somebody. Uh, I, I, I'm talking about, see, you worry about what's in the pie. You worry about what's in the pudding, but I know the expected it. I know what my hope is. I know what I desire. I know, hello somebody, hello somebody. I, I, I know I'm tired of seeing. I, I, I know I'm tired of falling away. I, I know I'm tired of not hello somebody. Hello somebody, hey, man. We, we, she said, you listen to the news, man. Uh, no, you think the whole world, oh man, things is real bad. Old, old things are just, but fear not. But the Lord is with us. What you said? Huh? Uh, I'm just saying, hey man, uh, uh, what look bad in the world? Hello, somebody. What look bad in the flesh? Hello, somebody. I, I, I thank the Lord. I, I, I feel good. Uh, uh, hello, somebody. See, see, no matter. Look at that. Hello, somebody. You, you, you can come with the most. Look at when you are a child of God. You come with the most negative saying that you want to say. And the, and the child of God will look down through it and find the good in it. Hello, somebody. The, the, Bible, the, Bible, the Bible said that, 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 that when Paul was born of, of, of the Spirit, that Satan sent a, a, a messenger to buffer him. Hello, somebody. Amen. She was necessary for him to be buffered. Are y'all gonna hear me? It was necessary. See, God would not have allowed it if it not had been necessary for Him to bust it. Huh? Oh, you said you said why would God allow that? Let me show you something. God is, will, and always shall be the Almighty. God has always had all power in His hand. God has always lived. Amen. God allowed what happened, what the devil did in the God of Eve. God allowed that to fulfill his own purpose. Know ye not that know ye not that God what y'all don't hear me? Y'all don't want this kind of revelation to thank y'all need a red rod, I got red rod, huh? Uh, uh don't out there get some of them, them people to teach get you here. Hello somebody, amen. Hey, <laughs> See, what happened to God, Eve had to happen. See, negative things hurt you, but they don't do anything to God. God told, told, told Paul, he said, you're working with me. He said, my spirit is made perfect and weak. He said, you got to you gotta come for a man. And you always want to hear what you want to hear. He said, but I hear the whole story, and I feel to get the good out of it. Hello, somebody. Y'all don't hear me. Uh, he said, I, I, he said, I know. He said, look at, he said, he said, if my father says something to me, he said, I know no matter what he said, 
he loved me. And there's love in what he said. And there's a reason that he said what he said. Amen. And it must not be that wrong with him. If I if I got a problem with what he said, maybe I'll examine myself and see why he said what he said. Y'all don't hear me? Mm-hmm. Well, see, huh? see, 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 one thing about it. See, if God don't allow sin plan to go forward. Well, y'all don't hear me. See, 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 one thing about it. See, God is the God of the living. And not of the dead. Hello, somebody. See, God is it was not born and do not die. Amen. If God had not hung on Calvary's cross, what you said, he would have not what you said, he had to put death under his feet. He had to die for all of them because God is life. What you said, it was necessary for him to die. To get the million over death because that was one place he had never been. What she said. Yeah. <laughs> y'all, 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 get that itchy ears. You want to hear what you want to hear. Yeah. But you don't want to be challenged by God. You don't want to be challenged by God. You don't want God to you don't want God to challenge your mind. You want you want you want you want to conform mind. You don't want to have to figure out. See, see, it's for God to hide a thing. It's for kings to figure it out. What you said? Hello, somebody, huh? See, kings is what will search out the hidden treasures of God, the hidden things of God, huh? I said, that, see, a king has said, I know that God is good, not sometimes, but all the time, no matter what God said, there's power in the word of God. No matter what God is doing, in what God is doing. No matter what God is, that's life in somebody. <laughs> uh, but you like things to be said to you in a special way. But guess what? God is ain't your caterer. <laughs> uh, you know somebody? And you can't afford it no how. What you said, huh? You know somebody, huh? You have to get caterers that you can afford, amen. Oh, praise be to God, y'all, huh? See, you have to get paid, huh? huh? Amen, you can't afford with God, amen. You can get paid, huh? huh? So everything that God gives, you ought to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. No matter what it is, you ought to say thank you. Thank you, If it sounds hard, you ought to say thank you. If it sounds rude, you ought to say thank you. If it sounds nasty, you ought to say thank you. <laughs> the bread in God's house is better than the meat in the devil's house. I'm just saying, amen. See, see, you got a dead man's mind that has to be revived, and you want it revived the way you want to be your own doctor. When I come to the man that ain't never lost a patient. Ain't never lost the case. Uh, and the whole world is waiting on the manifestation of the sons of God. They wait on me and if God has created. They wait on me and if God has traded. They wait on me and that all in all is God. What you say? What you say? Huh? See, you don't even understand the scripture. You don't preach about the scripture. But the Bible said, I, I know my thoughts for you. There for peace. So no matter what I say to you, I love you, but it's for you to examine why I'm saying what I'm saying to you because I already know my thoughts for you is peace. Uh, what you said? And I also know that the devil has you thinking that it's evil. But I have purpose to bring you to an extent. What you say? Uh, so you can run around and cry all you want. God will whoop you on me. You can take it. I'm going to go around and pop, cry, hate. Ain't going to have to confirm in Jesus. I just do your thing a lot. Go ahead and hold on. Shape and mold. Hello, somebody. Amen. Because it don't come from God, I don't want it. Amen. Hello, somebody. I want it. 
for what it's all for. Yeah. I already know how to get what I want. I can go here and play that for I can fly up on my camera and fight up the hill. I know exactly where the hill is. Go around the corner around there and go around there and light you one up and go. I know exactly how to get there. Yeah, right, all right. Uh, in the cut. <laughs> Uh, little, uh, mama out there looking for 
Who that bottle my child? Well, yeah, and she, she ain't even gonna look down there, look more she uh, He's standing there and there. I can't you for you! <laughs> All right, you done a good job, I'm going home. I get through with this job. Uh, he said, I know about the house when you have peace. Uh, he, said, he said, I'm your peace. The only peace you gonna have. Uh, when I get through, hello somebody, hey amen. Uh, how many of y'all know the, the boxing trainer done, done, uh, 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 what is that? Uh, uh, no, don't go, don't go, don't go to Napa here. <laughs> uh, don't, don't go there, don't go there. Uh, you don't want him. Uh, well, well, that brother trained Muhammad Ali. Uh, hey amen, huh? Get, get, get him on your side, amen? Because the Lord, he, he trains better than that. Amen? You don't come to you don't come to the top of the mountain. You don't come to my life. But the brothers can't get to you got your shot. Huh? They can't touch this here, amen? Huh? And, and, and we train it, amen? <laughs> we train it with, this is, this is, huh? I heard T.J. say this is Mission Impossible. Hmm? Hey Amen. We're going to do this here. Amen. We're going to do this here. We're going to do this here. We gonna keep on doing it. Amen. I know the devil is upset about what's going on. I know that God is giving a breakthrough and he just crying and all oh, this. Hello, somebody. But the same way he told me not to cry for, for my cry, I ain't bad for the devil crying. Yeah. Which is, uh, I had to take mine. Huh? Amen. Amen. Uh, when he was kicking off on me, hello somebody. Uh, but now that I've been born again, now that he, do you understand what, anybody ever try to find out what God's talking about? Amen. See, when you've been born again, there's a transformation that has happened. Uh, that there's a living God on the inside of you. That was never inside of you. That the Spirit of God is in me. What do you mean the Spirit of God is in you? See, the body without the Spirit is dead. Before you had the living God in you, you were dead. Your thoughts were dead. Your mind was dead. But since He's been revived in me, and I'm alive, and I'm alive forevermore. Now, I got news for you. He that is within me. What you said? Huh? Is greater. But, but you got to, you got to understand what greater means. What you said? Huh? Huh? Oh, an exceeding abundance. What you said? Huh, I, 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 hello, somebody. He that is within me is more. What you said? Huh? I, I, I'm not liking anything. Hello, somebody. He that is within me is greater than he that is within. All the pressure he can come with is not sufficient to the greatness that's within me. If, if, if the Lord be for me, if the Spirit of God is in me, then who can be against me? Hello, somebody. Amen. He that is in me is greater than he that is in this world. Hello, somebody. And anything that's going on is going on because God is allowing it to go on because I am called for him. His purpose, and God don't have to tell me what His purpose is. What, what, what you say? So God don't want me to know. Uh, -uh. it's for God to hide a thing. It's for King to search it out. So you have to study to show yourself approved, or work that need not be ashamed. You have to get into the Word, and the Word get in you. If you get into the Word, it'll be revealed to you. What you say? A, a door be open for you, huh? You, you, you'll be ministered in and taught the things of God. Tell somebody, amen? But, but, but you want to stand on it. You want, you want somebody to give you 
nation. You want to copy what everybody else do. You don't want to get in there. You don't want to get in there and get dirty. Hell on somebody. You want to stand up and be seen. You want you want to pray in the, in the temple. You want to stand on the street and speak. You want to go to the jail and speak. You want to be seen. But you don't want to go in the closet. In the secret place. Where ain't nobody able to pat you over your shoulder. But don't nobody know what you're doing, so can't nobody give you praise. Hello, somebody. Amen. Uh, I thank the Lord. Amen. You don't want to spend no intimate time with God. Amen. See, because if you was... Look here. I, I mean, about that. No. Y'all y'all ain't grew up enough for that. Y'all, y'all. See, it... You, you got to you got to make sure you say it just right. It was a little girl. It was a little girl one time, right? And we used to watch the little girl. She's the best little girl in the neighborhood. Good manners. Always dressed proper. Always the Abe student in class. Everybody had thought she would be. The, the very, you know, there was nothing that she couldn't do. She had everything, everything she ever wanted. Guess what? She hid it well, but she couldn't keep on hiding. After a while, you could see the print on her stomach. And knew what she had been doing behind closed up. What you say? And as her stomach got bigger, he said, Oh man, you been, you been, who you been to end up with? Oh, I thought you, huh? Oh, Y'all ain't ready for that. Is anybody ready for that? Huh? Is anybody ready for that? People talk about you and say what they want to say about you. But when they see your stomach, huh? And they see you pregnant. And by the hair, God, baby, somebody gonna say he was, he was in the closet with the law. He been, he been doing the nasty with the law. He been, he been, he been back there praying. He, he, he been in the world. And he, he don't want to bring up on faith. Everybody know your business now. What you that? Yeah, yeah. You have to have some intimate time with God. Hello, somebody. Amen. <laughs> you, you have to spend that time with the Lord. Amen. And, and purposes of being disappointed. And hell, somebody. And, and, and she that got a hold of you. Look at And, and, and the lust even that took over you. Hell, somebody. You, you look at Did it walk there? You have to ease your pain out the line mouth. Oh, I was I was watching that from the other day and I, I didn't want to, that's all right. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you spend you equal of your time you. in the hand of God. And say, I don't care what the devil is doing. I don't care what he's trying to do against me. I don't care what he's trying to lead me to do. I'm going to spend time with God, and God going to give me the increase and going to bruise this devil under my feet. Because maybe God is trying to tell me something. He is out toward me as peace and, 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 and not evil. God told me to watch and pray. And the devil been taking over my life because he's convinced me not to watch and pray. I, but when they say that, 
that was going to be a blessing, I throw both of my hands like, yeah! But the blessing didn't do me no good because I'm living off the bread and not the word of God. What you said? You should have did both of them and not left the un undone. What you said? You should have heard it more than just it was meant to be a blessing. You should have heard how to keep the blessing. What you said? Oh, I don't make a difference about who gave you a blessing. You know, hundred dollar right now. If somebody way down the street will bust you in the head. Uh, amen. You might be the decoy anyway. I might know the robber down the street. I might give you a hundred dollars so when he gets you, I can slide on by. You ain't never been riding and see the police have one on the side of the road and you just ride right on by and know you were speeding. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Hey, Bible. Uh, if you spend time with God, God spend time with you. This is Resurrection Day. Your mind, your mind, your mind. Huh? Your husband is a pastor. Your husband is a preacher. You ought to try to be a preacher's wife. You ought to try to get yourself set. You ought to try to walk right and talk right. Your husband is a deacon. Is an ordained deacon. You ought, to, you ought to be saying to go around acting like a fool. The word of God says you ain't supposed to. Huh? You, you, you hinder the blessings of your own house. And then when the devil running wild in your house, you oh, yeah, they did it there, I did it there. No, you the one off the chain. Because if the prayers were single, the devil couldn't do what he was doing in your house. But because the prayers are divided, the devil is having a field day. Amen. Hello, somebody. You in one corner and she in the other corner. Uh, she in one corner and you in the other corner. Amen. And the only time y'all come out is to eat dinner, to make whooping, and to fight the battle. Well, you're red, red, baby. Put your high heels on your feet. Somebody might get crazy tonight. Oh, there's gonna be a fight. Hello, somebody. Hey, man. Um, but I ain't lost. I know some of y'all. I know you. I don't know where the devil got you. You keep on listening to the word. I have been, I've been sitting right next to a woman in the restaurant. Telling her free. I see her old mother love. I, I, I didn't believe it. But I've been sitting right in the restaurant next to her. And a woman telling her, telling her best friend, I said, I'm leaving my old man. And the old lady said, God, him true. Sitting right there looking at Emma. Huh? The woman said, I'm leaving my old man. And the old lady said, Why are you leaving this man? You ain't never had a man this good to you. This man do everything in his power for you. What is wrong with you? She said, he won't beat me. I <laughs> what she did say. She said, he won't beat me. Oh, they said, you out your blame, man. She said, there's always makeup when he beat me. <laughs> you better, uh, I wasn't eavesdropping when she was talking. Mm. And God called me to hear that. Mm. So now, don't be embarrassed, don't be ashamed. I ain't talking about you, God. I ain't gave me no revelation about you. I don't know if you sit up in here or not. But if y'all, <laughs> don't be too embarrassed to come back. If we keep on preaching to you, you will get a revived mind. The devil will try to embarrass you. God ain't told me that personally about you. Don't be talking. How you going back now? He know my business. I don't know a thing in the world about you. That God have truth. What, what God revealed to me. And he told me you should have been here. Now, if you don't say nothing, if you just say amen like everybody else, what well, nobody else know? to the 
the day. God is doing a work in my life. The reason that I'm still stuck, the reason that I'm able to stack is because God has been keeping me. And God is keeping me. What I need to do is get off my butt and press on. I need to get busy more than just out there where people can see me. I need to get busy and spend some intimate time with God. I need to get in the Word. I need to get on my knees. I need to do some fasting. I need to call on His holy name. The Word is mighty. Even in your mouth, if you will confess the Lord Jesus and stop confessing all of lies, if you will believe the Lord Jesus that God raised you from the dead and stop jumping down back in the mud where you came from and stop trying to go to sleep, but wake your butt up and stop trying to make yourself of a reputation. That's but one reputation that means anything. And that's the reputation that God has. Muhammad Ali was getting out on the field the other day shaking. The glory of man only lasts for a season. It's the glory of God that endures forever. And that's the glory that I want. Jesus said, the glory that I had with you before the world began. Give me that glory. Amen. That's what I want. Is that intimate glory. That time to shine with you. I want my light to shine. If you've been born again. And God has put you out here. In the back. On a mission to get souls saved. You need the last thing that you want to do. Is draw attention to yourself. The last thing is a clown. They want to stand up and all of that. And the whole world is looking at Do you know what it means to be chosen of God? Do you know that Jesus was the chosen of God? Do you know he was chosen to be a sacrifice? Are you crazy? Are you out your mind? Do you know he was chosen by God? Do you know that purpose in God? Do you know what pride apostles were in? Do you have any sense whatsoever? You want to be me? You can be me. You can die on one. Want... Oh, boy, look here. You better make sure you didn't drink this cup. That old somebody, huh? You better get sanctified in the Lord, but you're going to take the power of God. Hello, somebody. Amen. Uh, uh, you better try to be what God has purposed in you to be. Huh? Hello, somebody. Try to clamp up some kind of runaway. way. Sitting around like thieves and robbers trying to steal everybody else's best. Hello, somebody. I, I don't want... Hello, somebody. I, I want what God has for me. What God has for me. I don't want what God has for my sister and my brother. I want what God has for me. For me. For me. It's catered by God. It's specially made by God. It won't fit nobody but me. Somebody should pray for Lord. Let us stand, church. Let us stand. Somebody tell your neighbor. Some neighbor. Neighbor. I am on my way up. I am on my way up. I am receiving a 